In September 1998, Malaysia seized the shares of 172,000 Singaporean investors in 112 companies in Malaysia, listed companies in Malaysia. So they held shares. Malaysia said that uh, we were actually heating up the market, uh, we were dumping the shares and therefore the market collapsed. We felt that was not right, but they took our shares froze it and then said, you can't deal with these shares unless you pay 52 cents per dollar. All right, this is uh, daylight robbery. So usually when we buy or sell shares, we will pay a commission to the broker, 1%. They wanted 52%. So for about nine months, there was no settlement. And the government entered into an agreement through the exchange, with the Malaysian exchange, to uh, give back the shares in batches to the 172,000 investors. But that agreement was not followed by Malaysia for reasons of its own. And uh, Singapore investors were stuck. There were retirees, there were widows who were crying out loud for help. One lady had put 500,000 Singapore dollars in Malaysian market and the husband died and she was stranded and, and, the one, and, and, and she couldn't be helped. And Malaysian government told our government that they will deal directly with Singapore investors because they blamed us, all right? Usually when the market goes down, we will buy more. When market goes up, we sell. So when the market crashed, a lot of Singaporeans actually were buying more Malaysian shares and they froze. And this has never happened in anywhere in the world, all right? Purely it was a money raising exercise. That outraged me because they, it was a bully technique. So forming associations leading has not been has been my forte. So I thought, why not I start uh, an association called Securities Investors Association Singapore or CIAS and ask all these 172,000 people to join and provide one strong voice to Malaysia. It was set up in June 1999. Malaysia threatened that by December 31st, 1999, if we don't agree to their proposal, settle this, they will forfeit. So we said, go ahead. All right, I said, go ahead and uh, and then I approached Singapore government to see if they would go to World Trade Organization. And the current Prime Minister then said, yes, they were planning to go to WPTO and they will be announcing in Parliament. And we also said we will sue Stock Exchange of Malaysia in the Malaysian courts. Um, yeah, you know, and uh, together, it worked very well. After nine months of media publicity of this issue, major investors like funds, like Templeton Fund started withdrawing from Malaysia. MSCI index refused to admit Malaysia on the index. And then when Singapore announced WTO in parliament, then they surrendered. There's a lot of pressure on them. Yes, we had to put media pressure and we had to put pressure and this pressure worked because the funds were withdrawing. And that could hurt Malaysia very badly. And until today, a lot of investors are frightened to invest in Malaysia. It was a very foolish move.